Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I started my career 20 years back in 2002, right? And at that time, most of the jobs that we see today did not even exist in cybersecurity. It was cybersecurity was still relatively niche in the industry. But you could land a job by following the traditional ways. You know, you all you had to do was like uh, polish up your CV, polish up your LinkedIn. And yes, LinkedIn did exist 20 years back, just to let you know. But you could and apply for a jobs in a few weeks or months, you could land a cybersecurity job. So the traditional ways of finding a job did used to work. But in 2025, now the industry is very, very different. We have a lot of freshers joining the industry. Additionally, we had so many layoffs. So a lot of experienced people are also trying to move into cybersecurity. So the market has become like a bit saturated. So the old traditional way of polishing up your CV, polishing up your LinkedIn and then applying, it doesn't work as well as it used to a while back. And I've seen a lot of people talk about this. So I thought I'll make a video also that what would I do? Uh, if I was restarting my career in 2025 and like assuming I'm a fresher and I'm joining the industry, what I would do to get a long job fast, you know, try to job hit the ground running as quickly as possible and land a job within cybersecurity. I would not follow the traditional way of, you know, just applying for a CV and waiting for that to happen. No, I would leverage things like social media. I would leverage things like generative AI and use that to accelerate my journey. So if you are interested, this is the exact path I would take in 2025 if I was just starting out in cybersecurity. If you're new to the channel here, my name is Tamur Ijlal. I'm a senior security consultant with AWS. I've been in industry, like I said, for around 20 plus years. And this channel is just my way of talking about cybersecurity, career advice, cloud security, and AI. So do like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. So let's get started. Yeah, so like I said, the topic and how I would uh, how I would start a cybersecurity career in 2025. So I'm assuming I ha I have no jobs. I'm a complete fresher. I have no experience. What would I do to start my career in cybersecurity in 2025? Now, a lot of people make mistakes, unfortunately, when they're starting out. And this is common. It's not like a deal breaker. Of course, you're new to the industry. You're fresh. You're starting out. So there might be certain mistakes that people make and the some of the common ones. I've seen that people make. The first is no direction, meaning they don't know they want they, they want to work in cybersecurity. Okay, cybersecurity is like a massive field. W what do you want to do in cybersecurity? Right? Because that will guide what your study plan will be, what sort of experience you're targeting. So you have to know, like at least have a plan about what field within cybersecurity you are interested in. And not using AI for speed. That's a second mistake. AI is here. Whether you like it or you don't like it, it doesn't matter. AI is here. It's changing the industry, changing the world, right? So you need to start leveraging it for speed. And I'll show you how also. Uh, not getting hands-on. Just because you don't have a job does not mean that you cannot get experience. Okay? That's a, like that. That was the case many, many years back. Nowadays, there is absolutely no excuse for not having uh, the ability to get hands-on experience, hands-on skills within the comfort of your own home. The fourth one, I would say, is not finding a mentor. Now, a mentor can help you immensely. They can help you, guide you, show you what are the mistakes you're making and really set you on the right path because they have already made these mistakes, right? Not finding a mentor when you're starting out can be a big mistake and it's very, very easy to do. Uh, the fifth one, I would say, is not having a presence outside their CV. Now, we are in 2025. The whole world is like, you know, start for attention. Like people are on social media. People are building their brands. And most of the time I see people wasting their time. They're talking about stupid nonsense on social media, on TikTok and all those things. And they're not leveraging it for starting and finding a job. So please, this is a big mistake. Don't just have a presence like in your CV or LinkedIn, use social media to expand your uh, network and use the power of social media properly. And lastly, and I talk about this quite a lot, if you're familiar with this channel, becoming a certification factory, thinking that if I do a lot of certs, that will increase my chances of landing a job. You should do certifications, please. I'm being very honest here. I'm not saying don't do certifications, but do not become a certification factory where you're just doing one cert after another and another, another. You're just pumping it out, wasting your money, wasting your time instead of doing the other things which I'm talking about here. So these are the mistakes I see. And these are the things I want to avoid. So when I start my career, like looking my, uh, like what I would do if I was starting out. Mm -hmm. So like I said, the first thing I would do is find my North Star. And you might be thinking, what the heck is that? What is a North Star? So what is a North Star? A North Star is the guiding principle. 
that will help you make career decisions, select the right skills to learn and position yourself in the industry. What do you want to do? Are you interested in penetration testing? Like, uh, okay, so if you're doing penetration testing, like you, then you know there's a certain skills that you want to have or there are certain career paths that you want to go towards, certain certifications you want to go towards, right? Maybe you want to go into governance, risk and compliance, right? Then that is a separate path. Those two parts are completely separate. I remember talking to a guy, he wanted to become a GRC specialist and I asked him what he was doing. He said, I'm doing the certified ethical hacker course. And I was like, I had this big confused expression on my face. Why are you doing the certified ethical hacker course? If you are interested in starting a career in GRC, they, they, they have absolutely no alignment towards it, right? That makes sense if you're doing a penetration testing. So find your North Star, which is think about what you want to do. What are you interested in, right? You know, they, you can ask yourself some questions. What field of cybersecurity excites you? Like, do you, are you interested in like, uh, I don't know, GRC? Are you interested in the cloud? Are you interested in application security, interested in penetration testing, AI security, on and on? What field is exciting you? Do you want to be technical in the long term, like a security engineer or more strategic, you know, like a GRC specialist, or you want to become a leader like a CISO? So what's your long term plan? And you, you can change this along the way. I'm not saying this has to be set in stone that once you've decided th it will never change. Of course not. But at least have a North Star. And you might be thinking, how, how do I get a North Star, man? I don't know. I'm just starting out. So that leads me to my second point, right? Which is leveraging Gen AI for career research. Now, you have a massive advantage over somebody like me when I was starting out, okay? At that time, you had to go to Google and search, you know, find out what are the th things which were there and talk to people. And, you know, it the, the, a lot of things were not available to me, which are available to you. The Gen AI advantage, things like chat GPT, Claude, you can understand career paths. You can even generate study plans, practice technical skills and stay updated on what's going on. Like you can literally ask chat GPT that these are my skills. This is what I'm interested in. What are the career paths? that are most suited towards me. You can generate study plans if you're thinking of preparing for a certification. It can actually give you a lot of information if you give it the right information. You can practice your technical skills. You can ask it, hey, I want to become good at cloud security. What are the things, what are the projects I want to look at? And you can use it to stay updated. You can actually make tools like Gen AI, search the internet, get what are the latest trends in 2025. You know, previously we had to do all these things manually. We had to go towards a lot of, like uh, get a lot of feeds, and everything. So this is incredible advantage that you have, which is Gen AI. So do leverage it properly, give it the right context, and you will see that you have a massive advantage over other people. The third one is getting hands on very, very fast. Now, there is no excuse. Like I said, there is absolutely no excuse in 2025 where you have things like the cloud, you have things like websites like try hack, try hack me and you know, mm -hmm. hack the box, lots of websites are there. But please, do not wait for a job to get practical experience. I would start right away. I would set up a home lab using the cloud, you know, things like AWS free tier or Azure. I would start experimenting with tools which are freely available. I would start creating a list of projects. So it's not just about creating a home lab and experimenting tools. I would use Gen AI, like I said previously, I would use Gen AI to create a list of projects I should focus on and then start doing that and then start documenting it on my CV, on something like uh, GitHub, anywhere where I can create a portfolio. So this is the next step I would do. Like I said, it's extremely easy. You can go to AWS, create a free tier account. You can go with Azure, free subscription, or Google or Oracle. A lot of them offer completely free accounts. Use that to create like a simple home lab, create an environment. There are tools like I've talked many times about Prowler. Prowler is a completely free cloud security tool. You can use that. Again, if you're doing penetration testing, you can do that. If you're using like interested in GRC, you can, I've talked about a complete video before. How can you use that use case studies to get like hands-on and auditing the cloud or other environments. But these are so many easily available to you. Like I said, create a free tier account, use something like Prowler, and you will immediately know how to get hands-on with the cloud, how to get hands-on with tools. Use Gen AI to create a list of projects that you have to do and get it on your profile, put it on your portfolio. So this is what I would be doing in the next step. I would be getting hands on very, very fast. I would not wait around. Number four, like I said, finding a mentor. This is very, very important. Okay. A mentor, like I said, will help you avoid common mistakes, learn industry specific skills fast. They will tell you that what you are doing is not really uh, like relevant in the industry. Do this. They can give you career advice, which is tailored to your goals. Learn from their experience. Okay. Learn from 
uh, the mistakes that they have made so you don't make it and there are so many mentors now easily available it wasn't that easy 20 years back now it's much much easier go to linkedin right find somebody whose career you admire and right like hi i'm starting my cyber security career at my expertise if you have time i'd love to learn from excel what's going to happen that most they will say is no right i don't have time for this uh, they might say yes also right and sometimes people they charge money for this like I, I used to do it for free but what used to happen is my calendar used to get filled up and nobody would show up i started charging and i got a lot of people coming up and i really helped them in their careers so i'm not saying you should get my mentoring but there are a lot of people available in the industry please try to leverage them try to leverage their expertise reach out be honest with them that you're starting out don't spam them please do not start copy sending copy pasted messages because nobody likes that but just send simple messages and try to leverage from their experience right number five creating a personal brand this is something i would definitely leverage in 2025 we are living in the age of social media and ai post regularly on linkedin you know or write blog post if that makes you happy go to your local meetups or webinars go there and speak or create videos on youtube like the one i'm doing right now i know people i know a lady she was not finding a job and she spoke she went to a local like event and she spoke there and uh, she got talking to a local CISO and he was very impressed with her skills and he hired her later on in AppSec. So this just goes to show the power of creating a presence outside your CV or LinkedIn. Really in 2025, the amount of opportunities that you have of doing this are immense. So please do not be those people who are just going around commenting on other people's posts. Do your own stuff, create your own content. Don't be shy the first time. Uh, this is just to show you like I'll give you an example. So this is my YouTube channel. So I got around within the last seven days. I got 5000 views. Okay. And on my LinkedIn within the past seven days, I got 40,000 impressions. So imagine you're in a room and 5000 people are listening to you speaking or like 40,000 people are within a matter of seven days. They're listening to you and paying attention to you. This is the power of social media, right? And I, I'm not even that active on YouTube or LinkedIn. You know, I, I just post one video a week. But this just goes to show you that people will reach out to you and people will your 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 sphere of influence will greatly increase so use that in 2025 this is something i would definitely do if i was starting out my career and number six says and you see i kept it quite at the last but getting certified but smartly please do not become a certification factory wasting your money wasting your time just doing all the certifications just going to google and finding out what are the top 10 certifications in 2025 and dying trying to do them no if you've done your career research leverage that right get certifications that align with your career goals if i was working in cloud security i would do something like the aws security specialty or the Azure security engineer if i wanted to be a pen tester i would do something like the ceh or the OS, OSCP, right? If I wanted to be like a cyber security, like broad experience, maybe the CompTIA Security Plus or the CISSP after getting three, four years of experience, right? So I have a path and I would have this because I have a North Star, which I did at the start and I use Gen AI to get my career path properly stated. So this is the what I would definitely be doing if I was, you know, doing it. And lastly, very, very important network. Network is Networking is very, very important, guys. I cannot stress this enough please go to conferences go to seminars meet people don't be shy try to speak in front of these people right what's the worst that can happen okay you'll get embarrassed no worries okay i've had multiple occasions where i goofed up public speaking but i learned from this and i got better and i got better and now i'm here on youtube talking to you and i'm not even that much of a social person but just goes to show that you get better at it over time but why is networking important in 2025 a lot the best opportunities won't come from job applications now people are not stupid even hr human resources know when they post a job on linkedin they'll get like ten thousand people applying because the job market is not good right now so the best job applications come from networking a lot of times i can tell you that many cyber security jobs are filled before they even post it okay because of networking because of referrals because of people who reached out to them and CISOs are more comfortable if you are a CISO, just think about it would you hire a completely new person you don't know about or would you do hire somebody you already know a little bit you're, you've seen them talking speaking you're confident in their skills this is what you would be uh, giving more priority over so networking is very very important you cannot afford to just sit in your home and uh, thinking that jobs are going to come to you go out to these local whatever local communities you have seminars talk about talk to people and reach out and number eight oh i forgot we had one more which is start freelancing or side projects now I've talked about this before also just a while back 
that you know in 2025 you, you don't have to be dependent on a job to start earning money if you were starting out you have things like upwork fiverr if you have get, gotten hands-on skills like i told you about you can start reaching out to people right you can tell them you can be a security consultant you can do bug bounties you can reach out to people on linkedin and ask them to do uh, ask them for like free security reviews of their environments in return for testimonials and experience. And you can even earn a lot of money by doing this. And I've talked about this before. I've shared my own results with simple side hustles. You can earn considerably more than what I have done because I just took it, I did a little something on the side. But this goes to show that you don't have to be dependent on a job and wait for a job to come to start earning money. You can start earning money right away by leveraging that knowledge you have, but do it in a proper way like i said you i would do these steps if i was starting out build up like a, a find what my niche is find my north star use jenny i get certified in a proper way get hands-on experience find a mentor and start freelancing on the side also so many opportunities are there do not listen to anybody who tells you that the market is saturated a lot of companies because they're cutting down on costs they are very happy to hire freelancers now so the market is definitely there if you be, are being persistent about it. So these were the steps that I would follow to start a career in cybersecurity career in 2025. Do not get discouraged if you're starting out, the market is tough, but you, you, I can assure you, I, you will definitely find a job. You just have to be consistent. You just have to keep going at it. And I can assure you that you will find a job. Uh, and lastly, if you like what I talked about here, I've just recently in the last week published my new book, which is the 90 day cyber security career guide. The same things which I've talked to about right now, I have condensed into a book. It's like, it's less than a dollar on Kindle right now. I'm not getting rich from this book. I'll put the link in the comment section. Do check it out. And I hope this helps you out also. If you found this useful, basically everything that I've talked about, I've put in this book. Like I said, if you can't find a mentor, this is a book. This is the second best thing, which is a book. You can read about it. All the things I talked about, I put it there. So I hope this was useful to you, everybody. Please do like and subscribe to this channel and share this video if you found it useful. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.